Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is Thinking in Systems Level 4. It's on Hierarchy of Systems. Uh, in this video, we're going to break down complex systems, and we'll represent those on this big whiteboard. If you're investigating a system, the first thing you want to do is define the system. And to this point, we've always used this object, some components within a a larger system to represent a system. But it's important to know that this object here is connected to another object, which has uh, magnets in it, so it's a system within a system, and connects to another system. And so we can think of this whole thing as a complex system. And what we're going to try to figure out is the hierarchy of systems within this system. When you're done watching this video, you should be able to break apart the hierarchy and uh, systems like a lunchbox or even the human body, the interacting systems, but I'm going to start by showing you the hierarchy of systems in a simple gear called a rack and pinion. The first thing we should do if we're ever looking at a system is to define the system. So the system we're going to investigate is this rack and pinion. I should play around with the system so I fully understand how it works. And let me put this over here. Now this big whiteboard represents this complex system. So this represents the rack and pinion. First thing I should look at is can I break this system into smaller parts? So for example, I can pull this gear off and so that's going to be a part. So let me identify the three parts that I see in this rack and pinion. Okay, so the three parts that I see within this system are the round gear, so that's one part. The next part is going to be this linear gear, so that's going to be this wooden part. And then the final thing that I see is going to be the board, and then these pins that are holding the linear gear in place. And so this is a way to represent a system made up of smaller systems. Next thing I would do is see, are there systems within those systems? So let me break down these systems down into their parts. Okay, I've broken now the round gear into its two parts. There's a handle. I could pull this handle out, and so that would be what I turn the gear with. And then there's the gear itself. I really didn't have a part within the linear gear, so the linear gear is just a piece of wood, so I called that rectangular piece of wood uh, a system. And then finally within the board, um, if we look in the background, the board contains the, the wooden board, but also contains these pegs, and those pegs hold the linear gear in place. What's the next step? Can I break any of these down into smaller systems? So I've broken the gear down to its two parts, the pegs and the teeth and the rectangular wood into its teeth and then the wooden board into the holes that are there. And so the nice thing is I can now that I've got a complex system, systems and subsystems within that, I can say, well, the teeth of the linear gear interact with the teeth of the round gear, so I can show an interaction at different hierarchy. So this is the first simple system. We're breaking a complex system down into systems, subsystems, and subsystems within that. So let me clear the boards, and then I'm going to give one that you can work on. Okay, for the next one, what I'd like you to try to do is figure out the hierarchy of systems in these nesting dolls. First, let me take them apart. Okay, now that I've defined the system, the system is going to be these whole nesting dolls. What I want you to do is break those into a hierarchy of systems. And if there's any interesting things, uh, try to reclassify the systems. Okay, the first thing I would do is arrange the dolls. And then define the dolls that I think are at the biggest system level. I would then break these dolls into their hierarchy of systems. So 
So I broke the large green and red and blue dolls into medium dolls, small dolls, and then I had these really tiny dolls that are over here. Now what's interesting to me is this blue one seems like it's out of order. It seems like this one should be over here. So if I wanted to show that, I would simply move the tiny blue gear, or blue doll rather, um, over here to show a better hierarchy of systems. And so the nice thing about defining this as a hierarchy of systems is I can start looking at interactions between those. So we've defined what the hierarchy of systems are, systems within systems. The next thing I would have you do is try it. So I would go to one of the Google slide decks below and maybe look at the lunchbox and try to classify that into a hierarchy of systems or even body systems and how they interact at those levels. So that's level four, hierarchy of systems, and I hope that was helpful.